Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. I thought I'd show you my church. I decorate it for Christmas. My sister and I do this. So I thought I would bring you in and show you what we do in our little church. This is an old-fashioned country little church. And we're very traditional. And I just really had a good time doing all of this. This is our stage area. It's a nine foot Christmas tree. And some of this was donated, like this was donated, and I added lights so it would sparkle. And then my sister donates these big dolls, which are actually Victorian usually looking, and we convert them into looking like Mary and Joseph. And then we just use a doll for baby Jesus. And then we have Jesus is the reason we give. Because we give to missionaries. And so that's why we give our money is to the missionaries to help bring more people to Christ. And then here's at the cross. It's our baptistry. And we part the curtains when we baptize. And then here is the nine foot Christmas tree. It's a little bit hard to show it without just panning it. It shows for red and gold. And mostly it is just picks and red bows and uh, everything's from the dollar stores in the, a bell from like last year or the year before, or clearance really cheap, but you'll recognize that from the Dollar Tree. And there's just all these gorgeous picks, and they're just sticking out. And let me tell you, on a nine foot Christmas tree, <laughs> they save a lot of decorating because they fill in the tree so nicely. Like I showed you in others, it literally is just a pick or a bush like this. And you just slide it in till it sits where you want it to. And that's how this whole tree is pretty much. And it's got some of the red balls. But it's mostly all picks and ribbon. I chose to put in some little stripe kind of checkerboard ribbon and some gold and then we actually have beads drooping it's a little bit harder to see them but you can see how they're drooping red and gold ones this tree is just so beautiful I love it and clear to the top and just a bunch of picks up there it's not very bright I guess there wasn't much lighting but that's all right it looks really pretty but this is my church, and we're in the process of taking down the Thanksgiving banners, and they're putting up the Christmas ones. And we have hope, for you are my hope, O oh Lord God. Psalms 91.5. And then in our windows, we hang um, wreaths with the names of our missionaries that we support. And our other banners. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That one's John 3.16, and that's his love. And then we have our Savior. For there is born to you this day the city of David, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And we just put simple candles in the windows with just bows and then to the back just more wreaths and some garland over the back door just very simple we keep it simple because it has just an elegant look without too much and then over here we have joy I bring you good tidings of great joy which will be to all people 
and more of our missionary names. And peace, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace, goodwill toward all men. Then we buy our piano and organ. We just have the little knee wall here. And we just decorate it with just simple garland and bows. Then we have our Advent candle, which starts this Sunday. And then we have a giving tree, which will sit here. And my church has this little thing they've done for probably 40 or plus years. They have made, years ago, these little children. They represent different parts of the world. And then we have a nightlight, and they glow under a black light, actually. And they glow under the black light. And what they do is they put them on this tree, and they put the black lights on it to show how the light of the Lord will light up these people's lives in it to represent giving to our missionaries. And are the Bible and Mary and Joseph on their journey. And then we have our other knee wall. Just very simple and elegant. Very, very pretty. And I know many of you are probably not worried about decorating churches. But I thought maybe there would still be some pretty ideas that you could use out of this in your own home. Just a simple red and gold with picks on your tree. Just a beautiful red and gold poinsettia arrangement for your table. Just simple, you know, things like this, you know, your Mary and Joseph. You can put in a big nativity. We usually do one, but this year we went for a simpler look. You know, if you have walls or door frames, just do your swags with your greenery like that. I mean, just some simple, really beautiful things. Even in your own windows, you could put candles and just a simple bow in front of it. It's just a simple little church. I love my little church, though. We're so friendly and happy. And then we have Rejoice in the Lord right above the door, although the red bow is kind of hanging in front of it. But we have all that beautiful garland and red bows. And this one is darker down here, so we don't have electricity to light anything over here, so they don't get lit. But we have a wreath, and somebody donated these beautiful angels. I have no idea where they came from. I don't even know who donated them. We just came up to our storage area, and there they were. It's like, wow. And so we put them there. Now, we did use tacks and uh, some stuff in the walls there to string them to so they don't get knocked over easily. But they sure have a beautiful effect. And then over on this side of our church, we just have, we call it our mailboxes. It's those little slots. So everybody that comes to the church has a little cubby hole there. And starting next week, people will start bringing Christmas cards that we give to each other. And then I just have, again, just a small little nativity, Mary and Joseph. And just put a simple, in fact, the greenery on each side came from old Christmas trees that are falling apart, those that you had to put them together branch by branch. And so I just pulled them and set them over there and just put a simple poinsettia on each side and another um, wreath with poinsettias to balance out. And then on this side around our clock, we just decided to put another wreath with all the reds and the golds. And it's just beautiful. So from here, you can just see this by our front door, how beautiful. That really looks. I enjoy doing Christmas. I have so much to do at my house, so it does make it harder. You know, we have welcome, family, neighbors, and friends. And that does represent our church. But I thought I'd show you a quick close-up of what I was meaning by, remember those old-fashioned, you had to stick them in the pole when they first started making them? Simple, simple, simple. And I just stuck them back there. I'll have to re I'll readjust that now because it doesn't want to stay like I had. Oh, good. It went back into place. But then this one fell. Oh, well, that's what happens when you mess with stuff. 
But isn't that neat? I found this at the thrift store. Donated it to the church. I didn't pay about a couple of bucks, I think. But it's really nice to have. So anyway, here is my beautiful little church. And everyone's so happy and so friendly. Pastor's office and break room. But again, I just want to thank everyone for watching and viewing. It is Christmas. And it's a beautiful church. Merry Christmas all. You take care. And I hope even though it's decorating the church, it still gave you some inspiration and ideas on what you can do for your own home. So Merry Christmas and God bless. Take care now.